Hello, this is Mamda Patania. Welcome to the session, Alternate Dispute Redressal, Role of National Consumer Helpline. National Consumer Helpline is an alternate dispute redressal mechanism to take grievances of consumers. NCH receives inquiries and grievances from across the country. This session will acquaint us all with the working of NCH and the role being played in the redressal of consumer grievances. Consumer, Market and Technology Problems have changed since the enactment of Consumer Protection Act 1986. Consumer Protection Act 1986 has largely been ineffective in redressal of consumer complaints due to n number of reasons. Reasons might be delay in the disposal of cases, complicated and expensive procedures, it works like a civil court and mainly dominated by advocates. Indian Institute of Public Administration, New Delhi, was established on March 29, 1954 for academic activities to enhance the leadership qualities and managerial capabilities of executives in the government and other public service organizations of India. The activities of the Institute are in four interrelated areas of research, training, advisory and consultancy services. Institute carries out its academic activities through different centers. The Center for Consumer Studies was set up in 2007 by the Department of Consumer Affairs, Government of India, to promote consumer protection and welfare. The center also manages the National Consumer Helpline and the state helplines which are set up in the respective states. National Consumer Helpline. To empower consumers, this National Consumer Helpline was set up in 2005 by Department of Consumer Affairs and is currently managed by Center for Consumer Studies, Indian Institute of Public Administration, New Delhi. You all might be keen into knowing what does National Consumer Helpline do. It provides information to consumers, guides consumers on consumer-related issues and problems. It functions as a pre-litigation platform and works as an alternate dispute redressal system, which is ADR. It also provides a platform to escalate complaints to companies, government departments and regulators for redress and resolution. Further, for data analytics, complaints are analyzed and issues highlighted to companies, regulators and Department of Consumer Affairs. For advocacy for policy inputs, policy inputs to Department of Consumer Affairs, regulators and government organizations. NCH has a convergence program to partner with companies, industries and government departments. Until now, we have around 630 partner companies which are under an informal MOU with us under our convergence program. How does filing of complaints at NCH occur? NCH registers complaints through its 120 workstations on toll-free numbers that are 14404 and one you can also send a SMS on the number 813-000-9809 or get connected to us through our website which is consumerhelpline.gov.in. NCH app, Umang app, that is the unified mobile application for new age governance is another way you can get connected to NCH. Write emails, letters by post, walk-ins and inquiries on web chat are few other options which you can avail. There are six zonal helplines which were set up in October 2017 to handle regional languages. NCH here at Delhi take calls in English and Hindi and these helplines cater to the regional languages which are in place. NCH receives calls from 9.30 am to 5.30 pm every day except guested holidays. SMS and logging of grievances in the website is 24 by 7. NCH goes by a three-tier approach. Now what is this three-tier approach? NCH advises, guides and handholds consumers to get their grievances redressed and suitably resolved. NCH advice depends on the stage exhausted by the complainant and the resolution expected by him. The three-tier approach, the steps which are as follows. In the first tier, the consumer is advised to approach the manufacturer, service provider. NCH parallelly takes up the complaint with the company. At the second tier, if problem is unresolved for a specified time frame, consumer is advised to approach the regulatory authorities existing in the sector. And if that is also not 
okay with the consumer a third tier is there as a last option wherein a consumer is advised to file a case in the consumer fora basically nch attempts to deter issues from escalating to consumer fora now you might be keen into knowing what is the process of handling complaints at national consumer helpline Complaints at National Consumer Helpline are registered on the portal, which is consumerhelpline.gov.in, either by telephone, direct registration, SMS, walk-ins, mobile app, postal letters, email, and the list already shared with you. If the complaint pertains to convergence of companies, agencies, the complaint automatically reaches them on real-time basis. The nodal person of the company gets an email alert. The complaints which do not relate to convergence companies are extracted, email IDs searched from the public domains, registrar of companies, and forwarded to the respective companies. Complaints related to local dealers, shop owners, and non-consumer categories are disposed with relevant advice. Convergence partnership. Convergence, a platform for alternate dispute resolution at the pre-litigation level. for consumer grievances around 350 companies have voluntarily partnered with nch now what is this convergence it is a program which is to resolve consumer grievances cordially and expeditiously there is a need for consumer disputes to be redressed without having to approach a consumer fora and convergence is one such platform which avails this opportunity it ensures dialogue with top management and companies and is an opportunity to the company for better corporate governance and social responsibility major banks insurance companies payment gateways are all convergence partners jagriti empowering consumers programs in various community radios are aired giving information to various sections of society on consumer issues street plays are enacted on consumer themes to wide range of audience giving a message on how to be a smart consumer in the marketplace consumer fairs are organized stalls are set up to help disseminate information on pre purchase advice and ways to get grievances redressed literature on smart consumer tips and promotional materials are distributed the monthly e newsletter consumer velocity containing pro consumer information is published and emailed to a wide range of consumers schools and college students are encouraged to visit the helpline to understand the working of the national consumer helpline nch also receives complaints regarding financial services now financial services includes banks insurance companies nbfc that is non banking financial institutions digital payments including e-commerce and telecom nch also educate consumers relating to financial issues and problems FAQs are regularly updated and uploaded on the website for consumer use. Counselors at NCH are trained periodically in financial services. Brochures, pamphlets are distributed with do's and don'ts in different sectors for the use of consumers. Seminars and workshops are held for the benefit of consumers. Even Department of Consumer Affairs brings out advertisements on financial literacy. this and many more things are which nch is doing for the welfare of consumers i hope this session makes and gives an insight to the consumers that what nch is all about thank you so much